So we're going to finish up a last few things about printers. This is my grandma's view of printers. You can see I'm in devices and printers and you can see I can click. I've got a lot of different printers. I've got the Microsoft Print to PDF, the XPS uh, printer, plus some real live honest to goodness printers. If I click on a printer, if you come up here to the screen, you'll see that there's an interesting option here. It says Printer Server Properties. So I'm going to click that, and it actually shows me a dialog box that gives me some control over forms, the ports that I'm connected to, lets me see drivers, uh, security, and under Advanced, I want to get into some of that. So notice you have to use uh, administrative rights to change any of this, but I want you to know under Advanced, it shows the spool folder. We'll go take a look at that again, but you can see it in this menu. Here we're back to the interface that we've talked about under Print Management, found on your administrative tools. And we can see we're on my local machine. And if I right mouse click, I can go Properties. And notice I'm in the same dialog box, exact. But this time, because this is administrative tools, I have full action. Now I can move the spooler folder. So what is a spooler folder? Whenever you print a document, it's rendered and turned into a file. Remember when we talked about SPS? It turns it into a file to print. And it is put in this location right here. Windows System 32 Spool Printers. In many cases, you may want to move that location, say to a faster disk or to a larger hard drive. Uh, it's not super critical on desktops, but on servers it may be very important. I also have checkboxes. Show me information for local printers. Show me information uh, notifications for network printers. These are good to check so that your users can see the status of their print. So here we are. I've opened up Explorer and we're actually looking at the hard drive. We're in the Windows System 32 spool right in this where this printer spooler is located. And you can see the printer folder, and right now it's empty. So I'm going to print a document. You'll see a file pop up here very quickly, and then it will be transferred to the printer. So let's take a look. So I've created a document, and I'm going to print it. And when you, um, you'll notice at the bottom of the Word document, there's a bar down here. And when I print it, you'll see a little, looks like someone is writing on a tablet. That's called rendering. And after that happens, you'll see a file temporarily show up in this spooler folder, and then it'll be sent to the printer. So let's let's watch. So I'm going to go File, and Print, and we'll print it to my Samsung printer. And you'll see, you'll very very quickly it flashed because the job was spooling so quickly to the server. I had to get a bigger file, and so here I'm going to I'm going to print. This time I'm going to print to PDF and we'll see that spool. And you can see it. There it is. That's the temporary file, the spool document. And I'm just going to put it on my, I'll just put it in my documents. And you can actually see when this spooling is finished, these files will go away. And this Sometimes files get backed up, either a file that is being spooled gets corrupted and it's just stuck in your spooler in this location. The spooler cannot deal with it, it's a corrupted file, and you need to delete all these files. So let me show you how to remove files from your spooler directory. Under services is a service called printer spooler. When I double click it you can see this is a key component of your printing process. So between your driver and this service, this is the heart and soul of printing. If your spooler service locks up, you can restart it, or sometimes you have to go into this directory, delete the corrupted spooled file, get rid of it. In other words, to delete anything off of this directory over here, you're going to have to stop this service, just like I'm doing. Once it's stopped, you can delete anything in this directory and then start it again and many times that will get your printer back online and everything running correctly. Again, if you had a universal driver, let's say this universal driver right here, and it was giving you 
giving you grief. You could right mouse click, go to driver isolation, and isolate it from the spooler service. So even though the driver may lock up a print job, it's not going to lock up the entire spooler service, and it's not going to cause all your printers to come to a halt. So again, this is a very nice feature when you're having a misbehaved driver. So let's talk about how to troubleshoot. Well, where do you begin? Let's start with simple stuff. Uh, run the Microsoft Troubleshooter. So if you click on this button, I did a quick search on printer, con printer problems and I came to this particular page and depending on the operating system it's going to send you to the appropriate page mine is Windows 10 and you are then going to download a tool that looks like this is called printer diagnostics 10 dot uh, diag cab when you double click it it begins to run the so why not use a cool tool? So we can do printer testing, uh, network diagnostics, but we're dealing with printers, so we're gonna go next. And it will look at our various printers that looked at the spooler. And so you can troubleshoot with this simple tool some of the basic problems. So start with something simple, like a diagnostic tool. So printers download the Microsoft Troubleshooter file from their website download it and run it. Next, let's update your printer driver. So if in this case it was the Samsung that was giving me trouble, go to their website, get the most latest up-to-date driver. You can also try a universal driver. So in case you're having problems with the operating system and the printer and a number of other things, switch to a universal driver, try that. Next, I would restart my printer spooler. So I find the service and I would just restart it. Sometimes stop it, go clean out your printer spooler directory. Make sure you don't have a corrupted file. Delete all the files out of that printer spooler directory. Start it again and see if that doesn't solve your problem. Don't forget your server service. Remember, you can't share your printer to the network unless server service is on. So make sure server service is running. Uh, properly in order to make sure you can share your printer to the network. If your printer is connected via USB, make sure you go to Device Manager and you should see a USB connection to print. So you'll see a USB printing support. Make sure that's enabled and running. So those are the real easy, quick things that you can check for your printing to make sure that it's functioning and some of the diagnostic steps.